guys, this has been sat in my shed for quite a while now, and I haven't been getting to do a video yet, video on it yet. But um, this is a 2000, I think it's a newer one, I'm not sure. But it says on Google, 1998 Carrera Fury. I'm not sure if it's a Carrera Fury from that year, because I can see LX gearing, as you can see. So I kind of can't believe that. But um, these gears were seized, and they wouldn't go past a certain point. All they needed was WD-40, and they literally worked like seconds afterwards. They didn't even a bath overnight or anything like that. They just worked straight afterwards. Um, it's got SR Suntour Mag 80s on it, which are pretty alright in their day. They were like the um, half high-end fork of the day, back in the day. It's got a bit of, like a Suntour badge on the crown, which is quite... A, so exactly, you don't get that anymore with the like new sun tours. Um, it's got a horrible line here from where they've designed it, and there's like rust getting in and stuff. Poor old thing. It oh, it's got a Richie headset, guys. Richie retro Richie headset, which is pretty nice. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's got a faded Richie top cap, very long stem, half sized bars, half normal sized bars. I'll probably be changing them to like a half longer stem. About that, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going stabby stem, because that's not retro. I want to keep this thing retro. Yes, Tom, I know what you're going to call me. Yep, you can comment it if you want. I don't really care. Um, it's a full suspension, as you can see. Full suspension. Career badge. Career fury. And it's got an RST20... RST22 shock. Dampered. Which isn't too bad. It's got a seized crank set. Well, not crank set, but the pedals are seized. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, they are. Look, it doesn't, doesn't move. So I'm probably going to have to change that to a generic 3x, unless I can break with that goddamn pedal off that won't come off. There's literally, like... like it's literally just, like... Bionically connected to the crank arm. I swear. It's 7000 series aluminum, it says. Made in Taiwan. But one, in, in, one really weird thing, though, is that it claims down here, if you can see that, in, made, designed by Merida. This was a Merida design bike. And, um,. Horrible paint there, as you can see. I'm probably going to respray the rear end of this black um, because that's in really bad condition. Look at the corrosion. It's only surface. Tom said he's a welder; he knows his stuff. Um, he said it's only the surface, and I'd get away with respraying the whole thing black. I'd I'd have to blast the rear end. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got. It's been bodge built to be honest. It's um it's got an XT9 speed rear derailleur. And that's a GT hanger, I'm pretty sure. It's very mouldy and rotten. XTXRC front mech. Yep. I might put an XTXRC rear mech on it as well. Just so they half match. Though I do have an LX derailleur down here. This on the Coyote. I might take that off and put it on the um I don't know why it's on the Coyote, I just ra I just rush build that thing. But <coughs> yeah. This is the I've got some mention the wheels. These are actually really good wheels. Um some mono parallax rear wheels. They're they're straight. They're straight as anything. And they're not even popped. The bearings aren't even popped. Same with the front as well. Which is pretty good because um saves me having to get new wheels for it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy me buying and selling random bikes and stuff like that. Um, that's an upcoming project, the Blatter E1. It's got a fat 1000 watt motor on the rear of that. <laughs> it's huge. It's absolutely massive. Um, and the Vengeance will be built as well. Um, and yeah, I'm just a YouTuber that does bikes. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.